It's Morphin' Time! Dragon Zord! Hey there folks, this is DMC Jedi Man, and I'm coming to you with another video. Today's video is going to be a little special. I got my Green Ranger shirt on, special shirt that's actually signed by Jason David Frank when I met him at a convention, and I got in a package from Sideshow. This is something I ordered. I'm really excited to check this thing out. I've, I've been excited about it ever since I first heard that they were coming out. Uh, so I'm going to do an unboxing video as well as kind of a review of what's inside. Uh, my attire may give away kind of what the contents are, but come on. I had to go big on this one. Anyway, don't forget if you like my content, be sure to like and subscribe and keep your eyes peeled for whatever I have coming next. But let's get on into this. Let's let's check this out. Uh, so make a make an incision here. Uh, don't want to cut too deep in. So I'm not sure how they uh, package things, and I do not want to damage the box on this guy. How y'all doing today, by the way? Uh, are you having more phenomenal days, or is the Empress of Evil got you down? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. What I hold here in my hand is the brand new six scale Green Ranger figure from 3-0. Now, this will be opened up and be put on display with my other Green Rangers. I have a bit of a collection of them going. I think I've got about 40 different Green Ranger uh, figures, not counting Dragon Zords and, you know, prop weapons and whatnot. So, first off, the box on this is beautiful. You know, I could, I could see putting this, you know, just a box on display. You got the Green Ranger... Uh, the title of what it is. You got the Dragon Zord coin symbol. You got some amazing artwork of the Green Ranger there. Uh, the side, both uh, sides have the same uh, thing, same what it is as does there. When you get to the back, you got the artwork and the lightning bolt along with uh, two different views of the figure inside. And this is in a window box. So you open it up and there he be. Now, I know the glare is kind of not beneficial for checking him out, but wowee does that look awesome. Well, let's get this guy open. Let's, let's get him out of the box, check him out. So, let's make a careful cut here. Always remember, if you're using uh, blades to open things, be very careful. Last thing you need is getting injured and getting uh, blood all over your brand new item. Ooh, he's got some weight to him. So, let's see. So, he comes with a warranty, which is interesting. I... This is one of the most high-end figures I've ever bought, you know, so, needless to say, I'm not used to this. We got an instruction manual, looks like, okay, it looks like this manual probably, uh, probably comes with every ranger, even though the green ranger doesn't kind of count with what's on the manual, but it shows how to transform the power axe and the gun mode uh right yeah shows how to connect the uh the uh power lance or tricera lance if you know if you're into zoo ranger i i guess i should mention also that the power axe is called the moth breaker you got the 
the ranger stick, you know, or, or you could call it the thunder slinger. And then shows how to make the power blaster, otherwise known as the howling cannon. All right, let's uh, get this off of here. So he's got a few different hands. Wait, wait a minute. Is uh, okay. That's behind him. I was gonna say, wait a minute. There's something not there, but. set him off to the side for right now if I want to oh wow that's cool so in terms of things you can see he's got a bunch of hands in there I am going to take out a uh, one of these hands because I want one that can they'll grip the dagger actually you know what I want one they'll grip each weapon because that the other weapon he comes with is far too cool to to not have a, a hand that can grip that too but he comes with like I said, multiple hands. Some of, you know, there's a couple different, a uh, couple fists for fighting. He's got a couple somewhat open hands. He's got a hand to use to make it look like he's playing the dragon dagger, or for those of you in Japan, the Zusokian. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing some of these right. You know, I, I am an American you now, so. I, I'm not sure on some of the pronunciations, but let's take a look at some of his accessories here. We got the Sword of Darkness, or known as the Demon Sword Health Reads. I love that it actually has a little fabric tassel. You know, and the detail on this is incredible. Like, I don't know if my camera can, can pick that detail up, but wow. How do you like my new sword? <laughs> but of course, what would the Green Ranger be without his signature uh, weapon? The Dragon Dagger, or known as the Zusokian. Man, check that out. That is so nice. Time for Dragon Sword power! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love this thing. And I haven't even gotten to to the ranger himself yet. But let's uh, get to the to the ranger himself cuz he's the uh the main deal here. Uh, hold on here. Just trying to get these last little bits of plastic off of him. You know, it looks like, it looks like somebody took the Green Ranger, shrunk, you know, pulled him out of the show, shrunk him down, and made it so he wouldn't move. I mean, this, this is incredible. I mean, you got the correct color holster there, you know, because the Green Ranger had the black holster instead of the white holster. You got the shiny green spandex here and I know Dr. K from RPM would kill me for calling it spandex. Lots of articulation it looks like. Now this one's definitely the Power Rangers version because you can see it says Power Rangers on the uh, on the buckler or morpher if you will. Like the uh, the gold bands need 
to be readjusted a little bit here because they're in a spot that they probably shouldn't be. The shield is incredible. And they didn't skimp out. Like, you can look and see the, the plain white diamond, you know, underneath. You know, from times where where the uh, where he gave the shield. Wow, in the helmet it almost feels like metal. But this is incredible. Yeah, I see. Yeah, time to meet the Green Ranger. I'm like a little kid again with this. <laughs> this is amazing. I I can't wait to set this up among my other Green Rangers. This is definitely going to be the highlight. Now let me see if I can... Oh, okay. So those pop out very easily. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I hope this isn't technical difficulties. I hope this is just... Uh, Hmm. Okay. Well, how do you, uh... There we go. Whew! They, uh, they certainly make that, uh, snug, don't they? I mean, I suppose that's a good thing, because you don't want, you know, parts falling off. I am having a hard time getting him back together. It's like I'm trying to get it so he can hold his dragon dagger. And... Bear with me, folks. I'll I'll get this guy uh, working the way he needs to. this pops out one more time, I'll just put the dagger in his hand and then get that, uh... <laughs> Man, that's awesome! <laughs> I'm actually a little worried to take this hand out now with all the trouble I had with that one, but... So, once again, gotta finagle this out. This one, I'm going to do this smart. I'm actually going to open the hand up and get the Sword of Darkness in there first. Because once I do that, then I can... Uh... Okay, I got to do this very carefully because I do not want to damage anything here. There. Now let's get that hand reattached. Man, that is awesome. Hmm. 
You haven't seen the last of the Green Ranger! I mean, the detail on this is incredible. I mean, right up to the shield, you know, pointing down here. I know, you know, I'm looking at so many of my other Green Ranger figures, they round it off, like, right about here. This is so accurate, at least for the Sentai footage version of the Green Ranger. Now, obviously, for those in the know, the American footage had the floppy golden shield, which a lot of people hated. I kind of like the floppy shield. I'm, I'm going to be... You know, honest and say that right now. Don't hate me. Wow. Oh. Looks like the uh, gold band came down again on, on this arm. Oh, careful. There we go. So, I'm probably going to keep him in, in this pose. I don't think I'm going to try and change the pose up, because honestly, I'd be a little concerned that, that I wouldn't be able to get him back in. But he seems to stand up pretty well. You know, he's uh, pretty, uh, pretty big, like from elbow... You know, from my elbow, he goes up to about my hand. I'd say he's probably about a foot tall, maybe a little over a foot. But it's incredible. This is incredible. That's all I can say. <laughs> kind of wish I had the money to buy the whole set. <laughs> I think a whole set of all seven of these guys would be amazing. More if you count the fact that they made the Red Ranger with the Dragon Shield and they made uh, Lord Draken. But, at, you know, at a hundred bucks, I, I had to choose to get one and this was my choice. The only other thing I might have done if I were them is I probably would have had an extra head for him to to have a Tommy head and maybe have like the helmet in the crook of his uh, arm like they did sometimes. But this is well worth the money, folks. You know, if you are a huge fan of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or just a huge fan of the original Green Ranger, this is a must-own. I, I'm going to be nerding out over this the rest of the day, guys. You know, I, I can say that much for sure. But I hope you've enjoyed my review of him. You know, I think he looks awesome. I can't wait to set him up on display with my other guys. But this has been DMC Jedi Man. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And may the power protect you. Peace.